It is an honor to introduce Karin de Waal. And from what I know she is going to tell you, I'm not going to take much of her time. All I can tell you, it is a blessing to see people moving within their favorite spot, the spot where they should be, which is their sweet spot. And it doesn't matter where you studied or what you know about the sweet spot, it consists of three legs, of which one is your talent. And for you to build out that talent, you could have studied or you could be educated in a certain uh, uh, facet, build it out. The second one, having passion. And having passion for people, that is what Karin has. And you will hear that from her. And the third one is to seize the opportunity. So if you have those three things, you live in your sweet spot. So Karin, welcome. And we are looking forward to hear from you. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon everybody. My name is Karine de Waal. I am founder of an organization called Join Bands Not Gangs. And the whole purpose of our organization is to raise up a new role model in South Africa, and particularly in the Cape Flats, uh, so that kids will look up to musicians rather than to gangsters. Uh, we've had phenomenal success in a very short period of time. The beginning, that's me graduating from Berkeley College of Music. Um, and uh, while I was there, I studied composition. I was in America for almost five years. And I just saw how much stuff there was in America. Instruments, everything lying around. And the Lord dropped into my heart, Kareen, the name Join Bands Not Gangs and the number a million. And I felt in my heart that the Lord put in my heart that I need to find a way to bring all these extra instruments back to Cape Town someday and distribute it to our talent here who are phenomenal. And I know it's an astronomical number, but um, I have a plan. So um, it is not impossible. So uh, to get started, um, the only thing I had in my hand, my loaves and fish, uh, fishes, was a song. So last year for the 100 year centenary of Mandela, we decided to launch a song and 60 musicians volunteered to be on the project. We launched the song, the SABC picked up on the song and 10 days after launching the NGO, we were featured on national news and I could say, South Africa, I wanna give away a million instruments and we hadn't even given away one instrument. And it was on my birthday, so that was also um, quite an amazing blessing. At the same time, because I had a video camera to do the video, um, I went into the community of Scott's Dean and I started talking to moms who had lost their kids. Uh, it was a massive problem in Kruijfontein, which is 15 minutes from my house, and that's where we decided to launch. So we launched the song, 10 days later we were on TV, and one month later we had 60,000 rands worth of instruments donated to us, and within a month and a half after that we launched our first program. So it was a phenomenal uh, rate, that's Dan Plato, everybody having a good time, and so we had amazing support from government, media, the community itself, and of course of the kids in the programs. And two months after starting our first program at Scottsdale High School, this was last year, December, we had our first concert with the Philharmonic on the Winelands in the Oda Libertas. So this all happened in, in a space of less than six months. Um, on basically a zero budget. And uh, the biggest um, thing was actually that uh, at this point we um, have launched in two schools um, and we worked with two gangs and um, we, we gave them identity. Mario Rousseau taught them identity and I taught, it them, or taught them music. Um, and so far we've had four gangs to successfully decide to leave the gangs, uh, which is also amazing. So the next level is... Uh, the first year, basically July to July this year, has been working on the ground. The next level is to make that uh, method consolidated, get it into a plan that we can roll out in every town in the whole of South Africa. That's the plan. Uh, we want it to be accountable and sustainable. So I made the best, amazing map here for you. But it's very simple. Our plan is very simple. Donors give instruments or money for instruments. They go to schools or whoever we decide is the recipients. Then we in empower them uh, after the instruments with a program. We teach them for four to six months, so we want to roll out a curriculum. We start, uh, the cream starts to rise to the top. We get amazing talent. The talent goes into a show band that gives us more media exposure that brings in more donors. At the heart of our company is storytelling. So we want a media team to continually tell our story, always be filming everything. Um, and that check mark means I have identified my team. So I have my team lined up 
Uh, currently, I have people volunteering, but we want to hire them. Uh, all of this we want to do on an app, Join Bansot Gang's app, an integrated digitized platform. 2020 is the, the watershed year for digitization. We want to go digital so that we can scale. We also have, as you can see, Checkmark, we have the team uh, an amazing team of people that's going to develop our app for us, and I chose a wonderful yellow to show you how important and close this project is to my heart. And then um, the first three steps, uh, the way we want to work with our donors, they give either second-hand instruments uh, or, or donate for new instruments. We want people to crowdfund instruments via our app. So if you can give 10 Rand or 100 Rand or 1,000 Rand, it goes into the same app. Um, and then uh, we start buying the instruments like that. We've secured amazing um, uh, partners for amazing prices for instruments. These are some of our recipient schools. Um, at the top, Masibambani High School in Kruifontein. At the bottom, two rival gangs. These guys are quite dangerous to each other, uh, life-threatening, in fact. But once you put music in their hands, they're actually playing on the same guitars. Um, and so it, it, music is, is, the, is the thing that's going to help in gangsterism, in my opinion. 2020, we also want to develop a curriculum that's also going to go into our app. So when people get the instruments, they can move on to the next step, which is to run a program through us. Again, uh, I found I've already um, negotiated with a bunch of session musicians to help us develop the app, uh, the curriculum. Then, as the talent starts coming, we would love to start uh, a yearly scholarship called the Joint Bands Gang Scholarship. We want to create incentives for the students to start working hard, and competition is always healthy. So last year, on the left, you can see Fabian Boeta writing his dream. He wants to be a musician. And on the right, we actually did get him a scholarship last year. So. Um, that's me at Berkeley. This is what I train to do. I want to put together a large band that's going to tour the world. And wherever our band tours, our joint bands, our gang's band tours, people can go during the concert on the app and crowdfund instruments. So if we're touring the States, uh, the people can crowd. As we go, we're just crowdfunding instruments, crowdfunding instruments. We also want to create a sound. Now, there's currently, there's an um, insane deal, Helmut Mayer. Um, to make three albums for the price of one, it's 100,000 rands, um, and it's just running in December. I would love to take this deal so that in the next three years, every year, we put out a CD for Join Bands Not Gangs, again, an aspirational goal for the young people, so that it's also 10 songs that we're going to push out on radio, 10 songs that we're going to push out for viral videos, and if this is branded with your company's name, um, <laughs> in this case, I pick, um, it would be amazing um, to have these uh, CDs go out every year and to, um, yeah, to just uh, have videos that could go viral. So today's ask is for three albums over the next three years, 400K, that we can set up a music scholarship that's about 40K, uh, it includes a stipend. I would love to become a Trigger Ventures Fellow, so if there's anyone who wants to sponsor me to become a fellow next year. And the last thing my ask is for a follow-up presentation, because we're working on a killer budget with all the numbers that I just mentioned today, uh, which will be ready by the end of January. And that is my presentation. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Right, first question to Karine Deval from Joint Bands Not Gangs. Very important social media and media plays a mm. major role in any organization and a nonprofit organization. Yeah. Just quickly enlighten us when I say media exposure up to now. Um, okay, so the media has responded amazingly well. Like I said, um, when we brought out a song, we put it on YouTube. It just got under just under 5,000 views. But then SABC picked up on it and featured us on the evening news. So that was roughly 4.5 million views within 10 days of launching. Um, then we were featured on evening news again. So that's another probably 4.5 million views. We were featured on Espresso Morning Show um, on our one-year anniversary, that was another two and a half million views, roughly. I, I'm speaking under correction, but so. Um, and then we've been on um, Die Groot on Beit. We've been on Smile Radio. I mean, uh, Beautiful News just did two inserts on us. That's being released on the 23rd of December. So th it's a it's a media story that is going to keep growing because it's based on people's beautiful stories. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So join bands on gangs. A full two years old. With a um, whole mission yeah, to say less than that, yeah. Less than that. Yeah. With a <laughs> whole mission to say raise up role models in impoverished communities mm. or raising up new role models, not gangsters. Yeah. I like that. Um, when people buy into band uh, um, join bands, not gangs, what is your biggest sponsorship up to now? 
Uh, what, who, what's been our biggest sponsorship? Um, I guess uh, Hoyer gave us about 30,000 Rand for instruments. Um, yeah, we've, we've actually run on nothing. I've volunteered for the last two years. I've been working for free. And it, well, not two years, but it took me a while to do the song. It took me four months of unpaid work, and then we launched, and then it was basically a year of unpaid work, and then I said, I need a break. So from September um, until now, I've been working on a business plan, and um, so the budget has been minuscule. Uh, the budget has been about 100,000 rands in 18 months, um, but we've reached like 10 million views, um, and we've gotten four gangsters out and all of that stuff, and we've started uh, programs in three schools and worked with two gangs, so the impact has been big for very few, a uh, very little money. But Let's swat that wand, the magical wand, okay. and ask the big question. Yeah. Um, if you can get donations, small, medium, and large, what would that be? Okay, I'm going to say small, not less than... Um, well, small would be to sponsor our album. Uh, the, there's a promotion running right now. It's going to end end of December. Uh, 100,000 Rand for three albums. I think it's incredible. It's going to give us benchmarks. It's going to keep us accountable. It's going to give us the content that we need to drive the social media campaigns. It's going to get all the kids focused on one vision. And so 100,000 Rand for that would be the lowest, um, the smallest um, thing. Uh, I'd love to hire staff so we can start developing things and do the app. So medium would be probably um, about half a million for staff and then another half a million to get the app started. Um, the large amount would be up to two million for first year, if we could. Uh, but I think um, end of January, we're going to have all the numbers out, perfect, um, verifiable. Um, we're going to have our team, everything on there. So it's going to be able, you know, the projections and the whole thing for the next three years. So uh, end of January, if I'm having this conversation, I'm going to be super confident. I'm going to tell you exactly what I need. So yeah. Just quick last <laughs> question. Why an app? I know we're living in 2020. Mm -hmm. um, do we need an app immediately? Or can we wait five years for an app? No, we cannot wait five years because this is 2020 is the watershed year. And if we want to scale, I want to do it right from the beginning. So from the beginning, I want to work out the perfect recipe. It's going to work A to Z, step one to step 25 to get one school going perfectly smooth so it's replicable. So from the beginning, I want to do it right. Um, working this first year has been a lot of like investing hours in the community hours with the people getting to know the way the people think the structures work the social problems it's a it's a big messy problem uh, but amazing heart in the community um, but i want to streamline um, and get the community to buy in so we want to teach them how to fundraise and put it on the app we want to uh, teach them how to get their own sponsors and put it in the app so that um, so that if i take myself out of this let's say in three years five years that it just it can keep on rolling so in other words we want to teach the the people how to do the system through a integrated platform and we're working with people, um, I can probably say, but there's a, um, a thing that's coming out now, DNA Superheroes, and they are developed this wonderful integrated program, and um, they're going to help us with our app development. So really the top, top, top team. Um, it's quite technical, but yeah. App is the easiest word. It's the layman's term, but yeah. Okay, that's yeah. it. Thank you. I think we've got our answers. <laughs>